Hello and welcome. This is Tron from Homegrown Audio. This time we're going to be checking out how to record a virtual instrument inside your DAW as you would record an actual hardware synthesizer. This tutorial is strictly on Cubase. Cubase doesn't have the routing possibilities as you would on Ableton or other DAWs. Before all that, let me remind you, I just built my Patreon page. It is brand new. It has a lot of deals, it has a lot of cool stuff for people that want to take this to the next level. If you have the time, just check it out. And if you can or are willing to support, I will appreciate it eternally. Now, let's get on with it. First of all, well, we have the Serum channel. What I want to do is I want to use that sound and export a few things without automating it because that makes it very static. And what I want is to be moving this knob without uh, without recording it on the synth. And this way we'll have like many variations that feel much more natural. For this, we need an audio track right here as we would be recording an actual synth. But first of all, we're gonna have to go to F4, to our inputs and select and add another bus. I'm going to add a stereo bus that will be synth recordings. So here it's going to 3 and 4. I'm just going to send it to whatever. If you're using 3 and 4, 1 and 2, you know, you can send it to either one of them. We're just going to do another output channel. And the other output channel is going to be synth out, right? I'm going to send it also to eight at three and four, just to avoid any complications. I'm using RME for this. This is what I recommend as a sound card, but you can do this with any other sound card. And if it doesn't have the loopback functions like RME, you can always loop it back with an actual cable. First of all, this one, this synth channel is going to go to synth out. And then this recording channel has to have input from synth recordings. All right. Now we're going to go to total mix. And the 8 at 3 and 4, I have it already here on loopback. This 8 at 3 and 4 is the only one that is going to 8 at 3 and 4, right? You see, there is nothing else going to this output channel, which is going to go back into the input right here. So this is the channel we're going to be recording. Now let's, let's try it. Here is our soft synth that we're going to be recording. So this already is recording, but we are not hearing it. So let's send this again to the monitoring output which is one and two so i want to hear it on my analog one and two eight at three and four okay there you go so now this eight at output is going to be coming out from here from the playback three and four which is the output from cubase into one and two and eight at three and four this is looping back and if we want to just hear this what we recorded
Let's do that again with the monitoring on and let's see what happens. Okay, so that is recorded. I'm going to mute that. And now let's duplicate this and make a different, like, for example, here we'll just use the keyboard here. So you notice even if I tick this recording button off and I have another recording track selected, because I tick the monitoring, it will still input MIDI on that channel. I'm going to try and use this as a hardware synthesizer, playing sounds and recording them real time. Oh, this one is muted, right? So now, open the synth first. You can assign anything, I'm just doing it with the mouse so you can see what I'm doing. But you can assign anything to a controller and it will feel way more like a hardware synthesizer. You'll see here, I'll be playing some stuff. Here we can see that it just recorded whatever I was playing, right? This is just a workflow tip and something that is very useful, especially if you don't have hardware synths and you want that same workflow. As you can see, this is very easy to set up. And this way, uh, resampling and doing all different kinds of stuff becomes way more fun and 100% doable. Uh, I hope you like the show. This is it for today. As I said in the beginning, I have my new Patreon, so be sure to check it out. I'll leave the link in the description below. Like this video if you find it useful, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this every week. Thank you very much, and see you next time.